Hi, I'm Paige from Pagey Draw, and today we are going to go over the different art tools you can use. Okay, so we're going to be starting off with markers. A lot of people ask me, what's the difference between Chow and Sketch? Um, there really is no difference. They have the exact same ink. Um, the only thing is, Sketch have twice as many colors, so there's more selection when you go for Sketch. They're a little bit more expensive, but they include more ink, so you don't have to refill them or replace them as often, which is good if um, you use markers a lot, because then you spend less money overall. And um, they have the exact same tips, um, they color the same, and sketch are also easier to hold, so um, the round ones, they can. these are chows, and they'll slip out of your hands faster than these ones would. Okay, so this is a sketch and this is a chow and uh, I'll show you the tips on them. So they have a brush tip that looks like this and then they have a chisel tip and I rarely use the chisel tip. I only use it if I need to have a straight line but for the most part I use the brush tip because it's much easier to go over a space. It creates less streaking um, and I'll show you. They have the same tips on this as well. Um, this one's less used because I, uh, I always use Sketch, so that's why this one's not dirty looking. Um, uh, I'll show you that the co like the co they color the exact same, so... Uh, I'll show you the difference between the chisel tip and brush. So, I find that the chisel tip colors much lighter, as you can see here, and you'd have to layer it way more so you're ending up using more ink when you try to color color over a big space and the brush tip the ink appears to be darker just because it gets it even and I guess more of the ink gets into the paper so I like the brush tip better and uh, I'll use the chow it's the exact same ink Right now it's wet, so it's kind of different, but <laughs> they're the exact same color, so I used EO4 for this. Okay, uh, another thing about the Chow and the Sketch is that they're all refillable, so you can buy refills for all of your colors, and it's, it's more expensive to buy refills just because the refills are, they cost a lot, but over time they're much cheaper to get a refill rather than buying a new marker, because you can refill your marker up to six, seven times. So it's really worth it to get refills if you run out of a color that you use a lot. So for me, the first refills that I would get would be skin colors. Um, I use E40s, E30s, and E20s the most. And uh, as you can see, <laughs> it, it ran out of ink. I refilled my marker so many times. And it's really easy to refill them. Um, what you do is you take off both uh, lids on the thing and you take off the chisel tip. I'm not going to show you right now, but you take off the chisel tip and then you put the nozzle in, squeeze it a couple times and it should be full and you'll see the ink run down here. And that's how that works. Um, I honestly would suggest the sketch though, just because uh, they last a lot longer. <laughs> it's much easier. Uh, if you want a more detailed tutorial showing you how to refill a um, one of the markers, I have a video on YouTube that you can look up. So, so thank you for watching my video for today. Um, please. Join our Facebook page. There you can post any ideas of videos you want to see me do. So if there's like a specific tutorial you want me, you want to see from me, I can do that. So just find our Facebook page. The Facebook page is Pagey Draw, so if you search that, it'll be easy to find. Uh, also, if you join our Facebook page, you will uh, find out all of the contests that we are doing. We hold contests regularly, and you can win really cool prizes. So another reason for you to check out Facebook. Uh, if you want to get any of the drawing supplies that I've demonstrated in this video, please check out my online store at shop.pagedraw.com. 
um, you'll find all of my markers and fine liners there and refills. It's all there. Thanks again for watching. Bye.